Hey there, welcome to my greenhouse. Hey, this is a follow-up to um, an episode I, I created a, a while back um, when I propagated my brogmancia or my angel's trumpet. I took cuttings from them, put them in water, and let them grow their roots. The roots have grown. Check this out. So. I've been working on this for a couple weeks now because if you remember, I took a lot of cuttings, a lot of cuttings, and they've all been uh, doing very well. So um, now I just used mason jars, labeled it, took the cutting, stuck it in water, tried to remember to keep water in it. That's the key. Keep water in it. Every few days, go check on it. A um, few of mine dried out. Um, but then I added water and look, still growing. <clears throat> look at all those roots. <laughs> this has been, this has been, uh, well, let's see, October 1st and today is December 1st. So uh, th this has been in water for two months. Didn't have to wait that long. Um, they had uh, viable roots a month ago and I could have potted them up, potted them up then. So but I didn't, but I am going to today. So let me show you what we got going on here. First, you're gonna need some, uh, some pots to put them in. I bought some, not really pleased with these. They're all like, they're not very firm. There's like 50 of them right there, but they're gonna, they're gonna do the trick. Uh, gonna need some potting soil. And I just simply got the biggest, cheapest bag of uh, all-purpose potting soil that I could get because I'm frugal and really doesn't really matter so then oh I'll be right back don't go away and then get yourself some perlite and you're going to mix that in now be cautious this stuff puts off a nasty dust. You get that in your face, you've got all kinds of uh, random diseases and inflictions and uh, respiratory issues and, and things of that nature. So um, I would highly recommend that uh, you either use a mask or moisten it before getting it mixed in. So I'm gonna put some in here. So here, let me, let me adjust. Let me adjust your view. Let's see. Boom, look at that. Okay. Now you get to see my belly. Yeah, my belly, because I know that's what you're looking at, my belly. Um, I'm gonna use some gloves as I'm working with this, just because, uh, you know, I'm not interested in a garden manicure today. Okay. I'm gonna put some water just to, you know, my goal here isn't to get the, the soil saturated. My goal is to knock down the dust on the, on the perlite so that uh, I can be alive for years to come um, to continue to work with it. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix that in. down try to mix it in pretty good you know on big pockets it doesn't really it's it's not gonna affect your life if you miss a pocket but uniformity I don't know works for me And for those of you that are curious, why, why, why are you adding perlite to it? Is it important? Is it required? What happens if I don't? Well, here, this is what you want to think about. We, we uh, propagated these cuttings in water. So as the roots formed, they had no resistance. They were just chilling out uh, in water, doing whatever they want. Now we're going to put them in soil. 
And we want that soil to have some, have some fluff, some fluff, so the roots don't have to struggle as hard to grow. Give them an opportunity to, to be all happy and such. All right, so now you remember, I took these bad boys out. I don't care, if, oh, see, so here's one. Look at all those roots. got a number of them here. It's kind of like if you use a Keurig coffee maker and you get those paper uh, 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 Keurig filters for, you know, because you fill your own. Um, kind of like that. Look at, look at, look at just how, how flimsy these are. They say they're reusable, but hey, you know what? I don't know why I have an issue with it, but I do. So I'm gonna put some soil in there. You notice I'm not pushing down anything. And then the neat thing about this, uh, much like um, a tomato or a fuchsia, as you're potting that up, uh, wherever the soil line comes, that's where everything below that, that's where roots will develop and continue to grow. So it is one of those plants that, and I, I know there's a term for it, but this is one of those plants that will uh, act like that, so you don't have to be, you don't have to be concerned too concerned with uh, where that soil level is. Um, I would highly recommend that you cover the roots. So, and we're just going to drop some soil in there. And I'm going to fill that all the way up. Fill it all the way up. Look at that. And then I'm going to tamp it down so it can settle gently on its own over the roots. There you go. Let's do another one, just because that was so much fun. Ah, here's a nice one. Oh, I just love those roots. Don't you just love those roots? Ah, I love the roots, love the roots. And again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let that mound up there. And then I'm just gonna tamp it down and it comes to a nice, wonderful spot. Now, I mentioned earlier, pro tip, if you're propagating in water, keep the water there. So I had a couple of these bad boys dry out. Where is it? Okay, so look at that. That guy got all limpy. He got all limpy. There's some roots in there, but he got all limpy. This was, um, I think this is the only cuttings I had from this uh, LBG um, variety. So uh, this one I feel good about. These not so much. So I'm actually going to let that sit and hang out before I pot those up give them a chance to spring back. Um, and if you're propagating um, Bergmansia specifically, I'm told that they sometimes will attract pests. And look at this one. This one has something eating on the leaves. So I will, I will hang some more of those little uh, gnat traps um, and uh, and I try to attract those. Looks like my wife is hanging out just outside. So we're gonna pause for now. All right, I'm back. Hey, that was a good interruption. Let me show you. The mail came. So I know this is about Bromancia, but I got the 2024 Swan Island Dahlia Spring Catalog. Now I've already made my selections, but it's still nice to have the catalog. Yeah. Okay. So let's get back to it. So I finished potting things up. Here, let me take you uh, remotely. Oh, look at my hand there. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, hey. Hey, how's it going? Okay. <clears throat> so as you can see, 
<laughs> I have a few Bergmansia started. All the ones in these tall, um, these tall brand new shiny black pots, um, I did today. The rest of these I did, uh, a week ago, a week and a half ago, using up all the random pots that I have around the house. And, uh, as I mentioned, <clears throat> these, uh, this sticky tape, uh, sticky, uh, um, fly gnat attractors, um, I've hung a couple of these up just so I can kind of get an idea of how much, uh, how much of a, of a insect issue I have, and then I'll, I'll make the right choices. So, uh, going forward now, uh, it's, uh, like I said, December one currently, and these, I have put them on, I put the trays on heat mats. I heat my greenhouse only to keep it above 50 degrees so it doesn't get below 50 degrees um, uh, it gets a lot of sun here so we'll see I'll be keeping an eye on these plants keeping them watered uh, but not soggy and uh, just you know I'll play it by ear I may here in a month or so um, as the days um, well we've only got a couple more weeks the days getting shorter and then they'll start getting longer again but depending on the, the weather that we have. So depending on the weather that we have and uh, the amount of sun, I may uh, add some grow lights. I have grow lights, so I may put some grow lights here to help them grow. And then my goal would be uh, to um, up pot them as we get closer to spring. I wanna put that off as long as possible because I do not have the room in the greenhouse to up pot them all and to be able to keep them in the greenhouse along with all my other plants. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, check back, I will um, uh, post another video in the spring so we can see how they all turned out. But as you can see, um, Bergmansia, incredibly easy to propagate. So if you don't have the room to overwinter your, your full plant, uh, take some cuttings. Uh, start small, take a little space. You don't have to do it to the extent I did, but I've had zero losses so far. Uh, I'll be curious to see how many of these survive, and uh, I won't be fertilizing them um, yet for a couple more months, unless it really looks like it needs it. Then I may go ahead and, and fertilize it, but um, I don't want them to go nutsy uh, growing. Um, they can get uh, ripped down on their own to a degree and still live. So, happy gardening. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye.